Hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Dean Bennett. I'm a teammate with the uh, DDEI team. Uh, thank you so much for coming today. Uh, before we hang the uh, inclusivity flag in front of our uh, George DeCero building, a uh, few people are just gonna uh, say a few words. Uh, first off, I'd like to introduce you someone who's a true champion for our city and over the past few months has become a very close friend, uh, Sasha. My name is Sasha Davis. My pronouns are she, her, and I am the outreach coordinator for PFLAG Broomfield. I am a queer woman in a world that doesn't always approve of queer women. And there are times I must decide whether or not to share that about myself. I don't always share that about myself. But as I sat down to write my remarks for today, I had a quote from Maya Angelou running over and over in my head. There is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. Many of our LGBTQIA plus youth um, are carrying an untold story. They're afraid to come out. They're afraid to share the whole parts of themselves with their loved ones. Too often in our society, people who tell their story face rebuke and hate. Across our country at this very moment, the right to live an authentic life is under attack. Trans lives, especially, are in danger. And that is part of the reason that makes moments like these, actions like these, so important. To listen as our mayor proclaims that June is Pride Month, to watch our colors be hoisted over the county buildings where the business of being a city and county happens, to drive down a neighborhood street with the rainbow flags waving above you as you go. If these things make even one child feel safe enough to tell their story, to live without the agony of keeping their story inside, we are continuing a revolution and we are saving lives. Pride Month is a glorious, joyful time of celebration, bright colors, glitter and dance parties, and rainbows hanging in every corner. We come out of the shadows that we sometimes find ourselves lingering in, and we get loud. But it is also a time for remembering where our story began, lest we allow history to repeat itself in the worst ways. The first pride was a riot, a demand that the abuse to our community stop. And every year when we take to the streets with our parades and our parties and our drag shows, we carry the legacy of Marsha P. Johnson forward into the future. We have come such a long way, but we have further to go. I believe we can do it. I believe in us. And moments like these are why. Thank you to every one of you here with us today to revel in the joy of watching these colors fly. And remember, as you enjoy the festivities of Pride this month, <coughs> Tell your stories. Listen as others tell theirs. There is no greater revolution than to be yourself and to embrace others as they do the same. Thank you very much for coming. Broomfield Mayor Guileen Castriata, and that's a hard one to follow. Thank you so much, Sasha Davis, and thank you to everyone um, in the community and our staff for making this possible. LGBTQ Pride Month is a celebration of freedom to pursue our lives according to our own terms. By embracing our diversity in an affirming way, it actually saves lives. More LGBTQ kids are born into straight families without a support network or anyone to turn to as they figure out they're unlike most others. For this reason, a public celebration of the LGBTQ community is vital, broadcasting to the world that queer people can find love and acceptance if they have the courage to seek it. It's 2022. And decades later, we're still seeing LGBTQ rights under attack 
in Florida and at least a dozen other states. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer people in America continue to face discrimination in their daily lives. While more states every year, like ours, work to pass laws to protect LGBTQ people, we continue to see state legislatures advancing bills that target transgender people, limit local protections, and allow the use of religion to discriminate. Think about all the children and teenagers who know they are different, but cannot even begin to fathom taking a step out of the closet for fear of abuse from their families, churches, or peers. By celebrating pride, we offer LGBTQ folks who are struggling a glimmer of hope that things can get better and that they can be free, safe, and celebrated for who they are. That is the power of pride. And that's why Pride Month is so very important. So if you're a straight person and you're finding yourself perplexed by the pride celebrations taking place around town this year, stop and remember that you get to live out and proud every single day without fear, without oppression, and without even thinking about it. That's a unique gift that a majority of LGBTQ people have never gotten to experience. Think about all the hurdles to equality that still exist in our nation and the trauma that so many LGBTQ people have faced simply because of who they are or who they love. Pride is about hope. Hope for a better world. Hope for a better tomorrow. Hope that it will all be all right and knowing that love always wins. Thank you so much.